grateful to the people of Miami-Dade County for once again entrusting me to lead our community forward. I will honor that trust by serving you with honesty, transparency, and respect for your hard-earned tax dollars. That's my pledge to you. Miami-Dade Mayor Carlos Jimenez delivers his 2013 State of the County Address at the Joseph Caleb Center in Liberty City. Jimenez says the state of the county continues to improve and he is optimistic that there are even brighter days ahead. I think that our, our economy is, uh, is moving in the right direction. I know that we have uh, areas where we need to improve on, but we're diversifying the economy. Uh, we need to take you know, steps forward uh, to, uh, to make sure that our residents have you know, greater economic opportunity here in Miami-Dade County. We're doing that, and, uh, and I see good things, great things for this county in the future. Jimenez announced the creation of the Mayor's Advisory Group on Property Insurance Rates to help protect residents from potential rate increases and his commitment to improving public transportation in the county. You can get more information and see the Mayor's entire address online at miamidade.gov slash mayor. History is made in Miami-Dade County as Commissioner Rebecca Sosa is sworn in as the first Hispanic chairwoman of the Board of County Commissioners. Senator Marco Rubio administered the oath of office during the installation ceremony in downtown Miami. Commissioner Linda Bell was sworn in as vice chair by Miami-Dade County Court Judge Gladys Perez. It is the first time two women will head the commission. Sosa and Bell were elected by their peers and will serve a two-year term that began in January. And Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa swearing in Carlos Lopez Cantera as Miami-Dade County property appraiser in a ceremony held in the commission chambers in downtown Miami. Lopez Cantera says he will bring new energy and ideas to the office and will focus on customer service. Lopez Cantera takes over for Pedro Garcia, the county's first elected property appraiser, whom he defeated in the August 2012 primary election. Miami-Dade County has a new police director, Mayor Carlos Jimenez appointing J.D. Patterson Jr. to the position. Patterson has been with the Miami-Dade Police Department for 30 years, rising through the ranks and had been serving as acting director since former police director James Loftus retired last year. The Board of County Commissioners confirmed his appointment. Patterson was born and raised in Miami and is also a minister. He says one of his main priorities will be reducing violent crime. By the authority of the mayor of Miami-Dade County and the Board of County Commissioners, I present to the men and women of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and the citizens of Miami-Dade County, the 13th Fire Chief of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue, Dave Downey. Chief Dave Downey assumes command of Miami-Dade Fire Rescue from now retired Chief William Shorty Bryson during the department's first ever change of command ceremony in Doral. The ceremony was steeped in tradition, paying tribute to Bryson, a 38-year veteran of the fire service, and new Chief Downey, a 30-year fire service veteran who has held several different positions within the department. And Miami-Dade Fire Rescue celebrated the grand opening of the county's regional fire rescue communication center at its headquarters in Doral. The state-of-the-art facility has the technology that allows dispatchers to see the closest available fire rescue vehicles and send them where they are most urgently needed, improving efficiency and response time. Ready, one, two, three. All right! Kids in Southwest Miami-Dade now have a new place to play. Commission Chairwoman Rebecca Sosa joining Miami-Dade Parks and area residents for the opening of a new playground at Coral Villas Park. As you can see, kids wasted no time having fun on the playground, which includes two shade structures and artificial turf for ADA accessibility. The event also included the unveiling of a memorial bench honoring the late Ray and Ruth Gibbons, the original homesteaders of the parkland from 1947 to 2005. A new playground is just part of the new and improved recreational facilities at Lake Stevens Park in Miami Gardens. Residents joined Miami-Dade Parks and Commissioner Barbara Jordan to celebrate the opening of the park's new amenities, which also include new walkways, picnic tables, benches, and trees. Officials say the improvements enhance the park and better serve the needs of the growing community. South Florida Workforce is expanding its services with the relocation of its North Miami Beach Career Center. Commissioner Jean Monestine joining other dignitaries to celebrate the grand opening of the new center on Northeast 167th Street and 8th Avenue. 
Officials say it is bigger and better located, allowing them to provide services to young people ages 16 to 21, which they couldn't do at the old location. Monesteam has teamed up with South Florida Workforce to help find jobs for 100 young people in his district by April. I have a passion to get our young people involved um, in our workforce and uh, it's so grateful that right now we're trying to uh, find employers that are willing to uh, bring them in and, uh, and, and we're going to get the funding through the South Florida Workforce Invest Investment Board to make that happen. There are 13 career centers located throughout Miami-Dade and Monroe counties. For more information, visit SouthFloridaWorkforce.com. Supporting local businesses, the goal of the MLK Business Expo hosted by the Miami-Dade Economic Advocacy Trust, or MDEAT, and the West Perrine Community Development Corporation. Commissioner Dennis Moss among those showing his support for the free event in Palmetto Bay that brought together nearly 100 businesses to network, build alliances, and establish new ventures. It was all part of the 32nd annual West Perrine Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. celebration. It's complimentary to what Dr. King stood for. Um, he not only, through a civil rights struggle, he not only talked about you know, housing opportunities, job opportunities, he also talked about business opportunities. MDEAT hosts several workshops and events throughout the year. For more information, visit miamidade.gov slash MDEAT. <laughs> Meanwhile, thousands of people celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day by enjoying the annual parade in his honor in Liberty City. Commissioner Audrey Edmondson was just one of the many local leaders participating in the parade. Afterwards, Edmondson joined hundreds of volunteers in the Miami Children's Initiative Block by Block Beautification Project to help transform Northwest 60th Street from 17th to 19th Avenue in Liberty City. Volunteers planted trees, painted, and started a community garden to help build a more beautiful future for the Miami neighborhood. It was their way of honoring Dr. King's legacy through service. Ten World War II veterans have been honored for their service in a special ceremony at the Biltmore Hotel in Coral Gables. The French consulate awarded the insignia of Knight in the National Order of the Legion of Honor to the U.S. veterans who fought alongside France during the war. It is the highest distinction that can be bestowed upon a French citizen or foreigner and was created to reward eminent military and civil merits in the service of France. Commissioner Jose Pepe Diaz, who is also the county's military liaison, was among those participating in the ceremony. And that's all for this edition of Miami Dade Now. I'm Leila Khalil reporting. Thanks for watching.